Hello, so this is just going to be quite a simple clarification sort of update video regarding COVID-19 coronavirus, you know, the Wuhan virus, whatever you want to call it, because uh, it's pretty much a pandemic now. I'm filming this on Monday afternoon, um, but obviously I think this video is probably going to be on about Wednesday. So the advice I'm saying in this video, you know, is still going to be correct. I'll see if anything drastically changes, and I know I'm saying something that's going to be wrong, I'll delete the video and refilm it, but you won't be seeing this at this point then. Um, but anyway... Uh, this is going to be mostly regarding masks um, and filters, just because I've had a lot of uh, comments of does this filter work, does that filter work, and I'm just going to explain the entire criteria of what I think you would need. Um, again, based on current information, that is aerosol, the word I can never pronounce, aerosolized, oh, airborne, let's call it airborne. So basically where it's very tiny little um, particulates that float around. So lots of my contacts have still been telling me, you know their shit, that um, a P3, P100 filter is still very good for that. Um, I take their word, you know, people who are actually trained in biology type stuff, where they say, yeah, this is what you'd use if you were working with samples in a lab like this. Um, however, if you did want extra protection, where you're not going to sacrifice anything, but you are adding extra protection, go for something like an A1 P3, A2 P3 filter, you know, an ABEC P3 filter, just so you've got the charcoal inside the filter as well as a bit of extra filter medium. Um, you're not going to hurt your chances doing that. Um, I've also just had some strange comments where people are saying, well, you can either buy hand sanitizer or buy a mask, so buying hand sanitizer is more important. Or you can do both, can't you? Um, Especially if you're buying cheap hand sanitizer, it's like one pound for a bottle or something. There's no nothing stopping you getting a mask and hand hand sanitizer if you need it. But as I've been saying, quite a few other people have been saying one of the more important things is just you know kind of thinking what might happen and what might you need to plan around. Um, so what I want to do because it's Monday at just coming up to one p.m. I want to read out the current numbers from South Korea, Italy and Iran because I want to see how these have changed by the time this video goes live about, you know, 48 hours after I filmed it. So, South Korea is 833 cases, 8 deaths, Italy 219 cases, 5 deaths, um, and Iran is 61 cases and 12 deaths, although somebody apparently said on news earlier it was 50 deaths and now they've rolled that back. So who knows, um, apparently it is a dire situation in Iran which could potentially have a mutated, mutated strain in the virus, but we really don't know. So, let's see how those numbers have changed in 48 hours once I've done this video, because the annoying thing is it's sometimes quite hard of this to actually see what the figures were a couple of days ago, unless you physically remember or a news article mentions it. You know, it'd be nice on a lot of these trackers if you could click on a country and it shows you total cases by this day, total cases by that day. Um, just so you have an idea of like, how quickly it's escalating in certain places. But as a lot of um, people have been saying, a sensible thing to do would be all-round preparedness, not just simply get a mask or get lots of hand sanitizer. You know, have enough food and water in your house that if it gets really bad, you know, a medication stocked up if you're reliant on medications, that, you know, you can weather it out that way. You know, if you have more vulnerable relatives or friends, you know, think of a plan to help them or minimise contact with them. So, you know, you're not likely to spread it to them if you get it. You know, there's all sorts of things to consider. So I don't want to make this a scaremongering video. The main thing is just, you know, please keep an eye on it. Because as we've been saying for a couple of weeks, it had the potential to get quite bad. And now it is getting bad because there's actually towns in Europe and Italy being locked down as of when I'm filming this video. You know, of armed guards around them. Um, police and military. So it's obviously serious, but there's some people who are just like, oh, it's just a seasonal flu, even though we have no, it has a higher R0 and fatality rate than the seasonal flu, meaning it's far worse than the flu. So anyway, it's not meant to be a scaremongering video, it's just simply a little clarification on masks and filters. P3, P100, thankfully, I'm pleased to say, is still apparently good enough, because I was worrying the other day that it might not have been good enough from some of the information coming out, but people who are a lot more um, educated than me in terms of biology type stuff, saying no, that is still completely fine for aerosolized, which I can never pronounce, um, transmission. However, um, I'm personally saying if you did get an A1 P3 filter, ABEC P3 filter, as long as it's still got that P3 bit on it, but it's also got a bit of charcoal, it's probably not going to hurt. Um, but it's just get what's available. And for all the people saying, will an expired NBC or CBRN filter protect me? To a degree, yes, because they still have the particle filter sections at the front and particle filters don't really expire. Um, but still getting newer filters is better if you can get hold of them. Anyway, we've covered all that before, but remember, an important thing is to do your own research on a lot of this stuff and look up stuff, you know. I can't, can't, you know, constantly spoon-feed people and try and find links to a retailer that's in their country that is in a price range they want for, you know, some sort of mask. Um, so, you know, 
look for all my old videos and reviews of mask reviews and that, see if there's any you like, see if you can find them anywhere. You know, if there's a particular mask, you say, is this mask good enough, do you think, in your opinion, or do you know any flaws of this mask? I'm happy to answer that, but please don't keep asking me, um, you know, multiple times a day from sometimes the same people. What about this mask? How about that mask? You know, um, where, where can I buy a mask in this price range in my country? Anyway, stay safe, everybody. That's the main thing. And let's see. We, well, we hope, of course, the numbers aren't going to have shot up, but sadly, I think... 48 hours after I film this, the numbers in South Korea, Iran and Italy are going to be massively higher if we're not seeing huge spikes elsewhere as well.